In this video, I am gonna show you how to create glass effect using Elementor. Wait, wait, wait. Before starting this video, I wanna tell you that if you want us on your WordPress project or any website project, then you can contact us through our website that's dickcreator.com or you can contact through the link given in the description below. We are a team of developers who will try your best to create your website successfully. So now without further ado, let's get started. So here as you can see that on the left side there is one title then there's some paragraph and one button and the right side there's a headphone image that's so simple the main thing is that the glass effect so we will be using custom css and elementor pro to create this effect so if you don't have elementor pro i will put the link in the description you can download it from here and don't worry about the custom css we will provide all the css link in the description you can just copy it and paste it all right so to create this effect first we have to go to the elementor then settings and then go to the feature sections and scroll down we have to find the flexbox container we will use the flexbox container to create this effect so to activate this click on the drop down menu in the default section you will be seen like this and you have to click on activate and then scroll down and save changes now go to the elementor dashboard and reload this page as we had just click on the save changes that's why okay so now reload this page and now we have to place one container so let's place the container so i'm placing the container here and this is the flexbox container so at first click on the six dot icon and then give some height so i'm giving to 100 v so click on 100 v at first select v then i'm giving the 100 v okay now click on style tab and select on background image i'm already uploaded the image on wordpress media okay select this background and now the display size will be like cover and repeat will be no repeat and the position will be center and center okay so now go to the layout tab and click on justify content center and then give some high width sorry width so let's give the 700 pixel width now click on the rubik's cube icon and place another one container inside this big container okay so i'm placing this one and then inside this container we have to place another container that is the Flexbox container so you can see the navigator what I am doing right now please carefully see the navigator you will better understand okay so now select the parent container and give some row horizontal okay, now we can see the uh, container will set it now in row okay so click on the plus icon and set a heading so I am placing a heading here I am just already did all these things so I don't want to bore you so that's how you can see that some basic headings with a just an html color i just put that html code in the headings you can see that you can also copy this now we have to create the glass effect so to create this effect select the parent container you can see in the navigator select this and then go to the advanced tab and scroll down you can see the css classes inside this css classes we have to write card c a r d card i'm repeating again c a r d card then you have to select the big container then go to the advanced tab and select custom css and I will put the CSS link in the description. You have to just copied and paste it there. Then you can see here this class effect is now ready to go. This is so simple, right? So you can change any of the code if you can do it. So otherwise, keep it as it is. Don't just change the code. So here you can see the custom CSS section. You can change any of the code, like I'm, I'm just telling you. Okay, so first you can see the blur. So if you do this 25 pixel, you can see the blur effect is too much increased. You can just play around with this blur effect. Then go to the background color section. If you want to increase it, go to the 45 pixel as you can see that. And you can just do it if you if you know some basic CSS, you can do it easily. I think it is 15 pixel is now looking good. Now let's move on the border radius. You can see the around the four corners uh, okay so you, i'm giving it 10 pixel and then i'm changing it to 25 sorry 15 pixel so i think 15 is still looking good you can play around with the border dash also so this custom code is so simple if you know about some basic code you can easily do it so that's how you can create glass effect in elementor and if you are facing any issue to create this then just comment down your problem will try to solve the issue shortly I hope you learned something new today. If this video is helpful for you, then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Also press the notification bell icon to get the first notification whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.